how is the Image Depot, a new capability with VLCM or vSphere Lifecycle Manager, helping you to make your life as a VI admin a lot easier? In previous videos, we talked about the desired state image on a VLCM enabled cluster. This desired state image consists of a ESXi base version, optional vendor add-ons and optional firmware integrations and components. The ESXi base version, the vendor add-on and the components are automatically downloaded into the image depot. If we select Lifecycle Manager from the menu, we'll see immediately see the image depot with all the ESXi base uh, images uh, starting at the GA version of vSphere 7 all the way up to update one and several patch releases. Also, we see those vendor add-ons. And if you select a specific vendor add-on package, you'll immediately be provided the information about all the added components in this specific vendor add-on. Do be aware that we have multiple pages here. So we see a lot of different, different OEM vendors already listed in, in the image depot. Also, we have the components, which, which are definitely useful if you want to ship the async release of VM tools in here, or maybe some other specific drivers that are not included in the vendor add-on packages. Now, all these bits are automatically downloaded into the image depot. This does require internet connectivity for your vCenter server, either direct connectivity, or you can use the proxy settings in your, um, in your vCenter server appliance. If for whatever reason you're completely isolated from the internet, we still provide you with the option to import updates manually and offline. Mm -hmm.